In October 2017, the city of San Francisco broke ground at 49 South Van Ness for the construction of a new 16-story building that will house 1,800 city employees and consolidate 10 city departments under one roof. This move to 49 South Van Ness is a huge catalyst for change. The building will be over 530,000 gross square feet across 16 stories plus two levels of basement. Right now, our departments are spread across so many different locations, it's really hard for them to work together and collaborate. And obviously, it's hard for the customers to figure out all the different locations and hours of operation. One of the main drivers for this project is to construct a one-stop permit center for the city of San Francisco. We're talking about construction, special events, and business permits. We're going to be a one-stop shop for those three things. This location has had many different uses throughout the years. In the 1940s, it was a Coca-Cola bottling plant, and most recently, it was the flagship for the Goodwill. As part of this construction project, we are carefully protecting and will be retaining the clock tower along Mission Street and near 11th. The Permit Center team is actually also working really closely with the Digital Services team on how can we modernize and move away from all the paper that we use right now to move to a more digital world. The Digital Services team was uh, created in 2017, so we've been around for about two and a half years. And our job really is to make it possible for residents of San Francisco to get things done with the city online. One of the reasons I think permitting has been so difficult in this city and county is really just about the scale. And we have 58 different departments in this city and 18 of them involved in permitting. We're expecting our residents to understand how our departments are structured in order to navigate their way through our permitting processes. And it's really difficult for people and we've heard that from many people that we've interviewed and spoken to. And so our goal is to really make it so that you don't have to know what department you're dealing with. You just know that you're dealing with the city Right now, if you're trying to get a construction, special events, or business permit, you might be going around to 13 different locations all over the city trying to get your permit. Here, we're gonna be taking 13 locations, collapsing them into one floor of one location, which is just a huge improvement for the customer and I think for staff who are really trying to all work together to make it easy for our citizens to comply with our rules and laws. There are more than 300 permitting processes in the city, so uh, there's a huge to-do list of permits that we are going to be putting digital. Our very first permitting project is allowing people to apply online for an ADU permit. An ADU is an accessory dwelling unit, so that is a way for people to um, add extra living space to their home, so maybe converting a garage or adding something onto the back of their house. Uh, it's a very complicated permit type. You have to speak to lots of different departments to get um, things approved. And so uh, we're trying to consolidate that into one easy to do online process. And uh, some of the next ones that we're thinking about are windows and roofing, because we know that those are really high volume permits. They're fairly simple to issue with one or two exceptions. Another one that we're thinking about is also restaurant permitting. While the overall volume of that is lower, it's a very long and complicated business process. People really struggle to open restaurants restaurants in the city because the permitting process can seem very hard to navigate. The city is also going to roll out a digital queuing system, one that's already being tested at the Mission Street location. When people arrive, um, they check in, they can say what they're here for. The queuing system will kind of intelligently help them work out which queues they need to be in. And then if they want to go grab a coffee or go run an errand, they know how roughly how long they've got to do that in. And then it will send them a text message to say, hey, you're next in line. Make sure you're back in the permit center ready for your appointment. We're also moving to get centralized cashiering in one location on the floor across the many different departments that are involved. So it's very clear for customers where they go to pay. On June 5th, 2019, a topping out ceremony was held to celebrate the placement of the last beam on top of the structure. And six months later, construction is nearly complete. We'll be moving here next summer 2020. The new building at 49 South Van S is going to be beautiful. This whole building was designed with light in mind, and I think that employees and customers are really going to appreciate these amenities. There will be solar panels on the roof, there will be electric vehicle chargers in the basement levels. We'll be benefiting from grey water reuse on site. And there'll be secured bicycle parking for over 300 bicycle spots. When you're on the higher floors of this building, you'll see the bay. You'll have a very good view of City Hall. 
You might even catch the tip of the Golden Gate Bridge on a clear day, as well as a good view of Soma. The 49 South Furness project is so exciting for our team because it's a physical manifestation of what we're trying to do digitally. So it's allowing all of these different departments to come together under one roof to issue permits to our residents. And in the same way as it physically people are going there to get their permits, we're hoping that also that's mirrored in the digital world so people can digitally also come to one city website to get their permits done. What we're trying to do is make it so that the very administrative parts of getting a permit are done digitally so that when they come into the permit centre, they're having this really high quality interaction with our expert staff who can guide them through their permit process rather than having to fill in forms by hand in the permit centre itself. So hopefully over time, more and more of these transactions will move online and when people are coming to the permit centre, they're just having really good conversations with our staff.